I don't know how to start a video, but I'm Hootless, and this is RimWorld Genius Grove episode 23. So we're just gonna get right into it, you know, we're basically just cruising along, trying to, uh, slowly make some progress before the next inevitable catastrophe. Uh, well, Goods Trader left the comms range. I don't know if I actually checked to see if I could trade with them, but I don't really have anything to trade, so it's not like it matters all that much. So, basically what we're gonna do is finish up the prison this episode, hopefully. And maybe move these things over, finally. Let's see if we can actually get that going now. Uh, production... We have them unlocked, right? Hold on. There's fueled stoves. Do we not have powered stoves? What? I could have sworn that I researched the, uh, the powered stove. I guess the food prep table? So, like the unpowered one. Unpowered version of the canning stove, food press, and prep table. Makes simple items, requires 40% work. I mean, I, I guess we'll make one of these and see what that does. Dexter, go make that. Alright, what does this do? Add bills. Oh, simple meals, good. Simple meals are what we like. So we'll say cook simple meal. Uh, pause and completion, resume on low stock. We'll have them do until we have 50. Yeah. So do until we have 50 and resume when we have 25. So when we're at half stock, we'll uh, redo it. We'll fill up the meals. So we have that there. This. This and this can all be deconstructed, essentially. I think I'd rather have the jaw be here. And we'll replace that with a... Uh... Wait, we don't have any sandstone blocks. What? What is this? This world without sandstone blocks. Alright, there we go. Dexter's... Producing some of the blocks now, at least. This can also get hauled. I guess he's probably going to finish up all of this first, but that's fine. As much as I'd like to finish the kitchen thing, this is also important over here. Uh, prosthesis trader. I guess we could trade with them, but like it's probably not worth it. Alright, he's... He's just gonna keep doing that thing, but now we can at least designate the sandstone blocks. There we go, and walls out of sandstone. There. We'll also deconstruct the butcher's table, and we'll move that into the further back room. We do have plenty of wood, right? Yeah, we have loads of wood. So we'll put that in there. Um, I guess like another food prep table. And then maybe like one more? Sort of, sort of like this, I guess. Drag the wires in. This one can also be cooking simple meals, do until... Pause and completion, resume on low. Oh wait, no. We, we wanted low stock to be 25. And then we can do up to 50. So that's set up. And then this last one will get set up, and that'll be good. Could probably do with, like, more lights in here. We wanted this to be a designated... A designated, uh... Freezer room, right? Like a meal storage? And I guess we could still do that. Yeah... Can we reinstall these? We can. So reinstall... there... and reinstall this one here... and then, like, build more. 
like so. So now we'll have uh, nine refrigerators. No, wait, hold on. So there's six. This one has all the settings already, right? Yeah. So we'll copy those settings and then we'll paste, 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 paste. Uh, this can be the same as the other ones. Do until... Do to do... Oh wait, one up, down. Uh, one up, up, down one. There we go. So they should start cooking, except, uh, actually we want to... Details. Let's, uh... How many do we have? So there's six, and this one will go over here in the prison. So seven meals that, or seven refrigerators that can hold. No, 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 hold on. Hold on. I'm doing it wrong. This is just one, so that holds ten. But each of these can hold twenty. So we actually want a hundred and thirty. Yeah, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty. One hundred, one twenty plus ten. So we want a hundred and thirty meals stored at all times. Uh, like so. And we'll have it resume at 50 meals. Yeah. So this one, up to 130, resume at 50. And this one, up to 130, resume at 50. So, now we'll store more meals, and we can continue setting this up. I don't know entirely how I want to set this up in here. Um, I wish that I could just designate it all as being a prison, and then make, like, rooms inside of there. But, uh, I guess, basically just put some beds. Uh, we'll put one, like, I mean, basically just like this. The room is an awkward size. Damn it. We still want to haul that, please. There. So what if we do it like every two? Like that, that... Damn it. Every, every three? No. It's just, it's just gonna be awkward. No matter how I slice it. How about along this wall? Could we have... There we go. So we want to have beds like that, and that basically means we have enough room for six prisoners. And I guess we could, like, put more beds? Sort of like this, so we could have up to 12 prisoners. And then we will reinstall, or we'll install a lamp first, hold on. So one right there, one right there. And then two off the wall like that, and right like that. We'll bring some power conduits down. Hopefully everything can reach there. I think it should be able to. So we'll do that. Neat. And these beds will all be like, good quality at least. Although Dexter has decayed a lot in his construction skill. So now he's only making excellent beds. But we can also install this table here and these chairs up against it and just like that we've got our prison I completely forgot once again to turn off steam this time it was actually just on me, like, you'd think I'd remember, but so frequently I forget. Manhunter pack isn't really an issue. I mean, it's a bit of an issue because it's a thrombo, and thrombos are known to be pains. But here's, here's what we'll do, actually. We'll deal with this the same way we've dealt with every major threat. Church can go outside, everybody else can get restricted. Make sure that okay, the restricted area doesn't cover in there, so 
Let me just uh, expand that right out, like so. So they should be just restricted to inside now. Yeah, good. Uh, next up, I'll actually finish doing this bit. We'll reinstall this to here, right next to the door. Yeah, that seems fine. And that should be in range of this as well. If not, I can always just move it slightly closer or move a power conduit out. So now we have our battery of beds. We have a table. We're going to be storing some meals in there. And I guess now it's just like, you know, smooth the floor so that it looks nicer. I might as well do it everywhere. I don't know why that didn't get designated. Uh, might as well smooth there as well, I guess. I don't know, we don't really need to, but like, you know, it, it's nice. So everybody hop to. Church, go to your place. Everybody else get inside. The thrumbo be coming. Oh god, Masao. Oh lord. It's very dark out here. Cleanerbot, no! Cleanerbot, no! No, god, Cleanerbot, just deactivate. Go heal. Smell sensor, communication unit, left shoulder. I don't know which of that was the thrombo and which of that was just, like, normal. This thrombo has gotta die. Church, just keep firing at it. There's no way that it can get to you. It doesn't even seem to understand the concept of there being a door there. Hell yeah. Alright, so we actually killed a Thrumbo. It's a little bit cheesy. Like a tiny bit cheesy. Uh, haul that Thrumbo. Also, somebody haul this Thrumbo horn. There we go. So I guess it's like a little bit ridiculous that the Thrumbo will just take the bullets that are being shot at it without even questioning, like, hey, maybe I could just break through this one wall. It's a little bit silly, but at the same time, I'm glad that it works like that. We don't have any heaters in here. It'd probably be good for us to build some heaters, because I think people are going to start getting debuffs for sleeping in the cold. Yeah, we really need some heaters. Okay, so let's get some heaters going on. And I guess we could just put it along the back of the comms table. Figure why not. Masao is a is of course continuing to not sleep. As he does. Visitors, welcome, welcome. Okay, standing lamps. Let's uh toss one like right there. And maybe one right there. It didn't construct those, did it? Right there, and right there. And then we'll bring the power conduits out into the hallway. There we go. So, uh, what else do we need to get done? It'd be nice to light up things a bit more. Probably. Somebody needs to butcher that uh, thrombo as well. Didn't we have visitors? Oh, they're over there. Improving relations is always nice. Alright, starting to get light again. So ideally, this will all get hooked up. There we go. And let's, uh, while we're at it, let's build some lamps, like, up here. Four, five. Like, right here. And right here. And right there. And that should be fine. We do have to pull more power conduits down the hallway. But, you know, like I said, not really a problem. I think we could just go that far and have it get them. Uh, we It would be nice to have more people hauling, because I want this stone out of here. But for the most part, this room's actually getting pretty nice. Mostly because... Uh, oh, the refrigerator broke down. That's inconvenient. At least we got it fixed. 
But in here, because the beds are all high quality and the uh, table and chairs are really high quality, it just makes it like absurdly beautiful. And by absurdly beautiful, I of course just mean like better than in here or uh, in most of these bedrooms, really. Yeah. Masao collapsed again. Buddy, you gotta stop doing that. I wish that I had wake up to just keep you awake all the time. Where, where even are you? Sleeping outside on the ground. Damn it, Masao. It's very dark outside. So, uh, you know, everything's pretty lit up. Oh, uh, we never assigned Butcher Creature on this one, and we just want that to happen forever. God, please. Do forever. There we go. Dexter should work on that, like, right away. And we do still need meals, but because he has... Oh, they left me, like, a ton of medicine. Seven medicine, in fact. That's ridiculous. Mandark, are you hauling? Just haul, real quick. Left me seven real medicine. So now I've got uh, 36 medicine. Some from buying it. Some from uh, guests leaving it for me. Overall, though, it's very good. I wish that they'd haul it into, like, one condensed spot. Can I actually make hospital beds yet? Hold on. Do I have to research it first, or have I already done that? Um... Let's just check the build thing. Furniture, hospital bed, hey. Okay, so let's put like... Damn it. Um, there's like no convenient way to align these beds. No convenient way whatsoever. I guess we'll just have two beds, and we'll uh, put a lamp down there. Or was this supposed to be the stockpile? Yeah, you know what? I'll have this be the stockpile in here, and then I'll put the beds out here. Damn it. So inconvenient. All right, we'll do it like this. We'll have four beds. The standing lamp can get reinstalled into the center of the room. Okay. So that should get constructed. Uh, I'm going to create a stockpile zone in here. And this will hold specifically medicine, glitter world medicine, I don't know, like, what other types of medicine got added, but just those two specifically. And then items, all body parts, can be stored in there as well. So this will... What's that, Scyther Blade? Interesting. This will not store any body parts. And this one up here will not store medicine. Specifically won't store Glitter World or regular medicine. So now people should like haul it away. I still have no idea why people like go up and around. I guess with Church it kind of makes sense, but you know, still. They're uh, storing the medicine out here now, which is good. Don't, don't store those kinds of medicine there, please. There we go. So 20 medicine and somebody haul the rest. Has that already been handled? Oh, right, they're using the medicine to actually construct these beds. Uh, that's fine, I guess. And we don't have more medicine- oh, pirate merchant, though. So, church, you're right next to it, so I'll just have you trade with them. We do want to buy more medicine. That is a thing that we want. You don't actually want to buy anything from us, though, really. I guess- I could sell these, all these tribal weapons, and that'll get us a little bit of money. 
and the corporate or Orion Corporation helmet. It's a 60 silver. We'll just buy like four medicine. Ah, how can we just buy all of your medicine? All but one? Seems good to me. Sure, let's go haul that. Medicine's reserved already. Alright. So, major break risk, Masao, as usual. He's just always in a major break risk. I'm hoping that he doesn't snap. Because really, it's I can't do anything about him. Not yet. I guess I could construct a crypto sleep casket and just put Masao to sleep until we have wake up. You know, let's do that. That sounds like fun. It shouldn't sound like fun, but it does. There we go. We have our four hospital beds. Uh, these can be prison marked. I do want to, like, people to prioritize doing this. Church, stop cleaning. Hall. What are you doing? Why are you cleaning? Oh, we don't have any place to haul it to, that's why. Also, more visitors. They seem to have a few items to trade this time, though. Uh, we need an electric smelter, right? Production. Uh, electric smelter. Consumes a lot of power. It's not great. Dexter, build the thing. So this should let us extract steel? Smelt metal from slag. Yeah. Do forever. That does take a lot of power, actually. That takes 700 watts. That is a lot of power. Machining table, if we aren't actively using it, we probably don't need it. So I guess I'll just uh, designate toggle power on that. The tailoring bench. Um, we could definitely do with some clothing, for sure. Are you a nudist? I guess he's wearing pants, and you just need pants to be considered not nude. I don't know. Either way, we're up to 22 minutes, so I'm going to cut the video here. Hopefully you guys are still enjoying the series. If you are, remember to leave a like, leave a comment. Uh, if you aren't already subscribed, I really recommend it. It helps out a whole bunch, and you get these videos straight to your inbox every day at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. But other than that, I will see you guys all next time.